Well, once again, we had some sunshine this afternoon, and it mm. felt a little bit like spring. I mean, it was cold, but Bruce, right. to see that sunshine in late February is pretty good. It was kind of nice, and you know, the wind was a lot lower or weaker than yesterday, so that helped. And then I think tomorrow we're going to be even warmer, if you can believe that. So we're going the right direction with our trends, even though we had mostly gray skies, both in the valley and along the coast, although at Cannon Beach, occasionally there were some, uh, some shots of the blue sky like we saw here in the I-5 corridor today. Now, tonight, we'll watch the a week of Front, uh, rain front moved through, and as it got to Hillsborough and Forest Grove, it was still raining, but now it's kind of down to the sprinkles mode. You can just see it dwindling, so it never was very strong, and that's about all we're going to see from this thing, most of us anyway, just some sprinkles. High temperatures were below average today, 49 in Portland. We should be at 53 tomorrow. I think we'll take care of that. 51 in Salem and 40s and 50s east of the Cascades. Here is our weak system moving through tonight, and the main batch of uh, rain with it is already gone, but there are a few scattered showers back behind it that may occasionally uh, drop a sprinkle on your house or on you while you're out walking the dogs later tonight. Beyond that, pretty quiet, and we're in between systems tomorrow. Some high clouds come in as the day goes on, and then this system, the more organized part of it, hits tomorrow night, and I think we will get some decent rain at times at that point. So here's rain cast, and here we are tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., mainly dry, maybe a stray shower along the coast. We go through the day, we get some filtered sunshine at lunchtime tomorrow. Sounds familiar, right? A lot like today, as a matter of fact. And because this is all coming in from the southwest, we're also going to up the temperatures. It's bringing in a little bit of warmer air. Maybe a few sprinkles late day over toward the coast. I think it'll be tomorrow night, at, probably after the commute for most of us to get some rain out of that system. Meanwhile, I'm tracking snow tonight from the Rockies to the Midwest and now even the Northeast. And this has caused flight delays in and out of PDX uh, since the morning hours today. Some flights canceled. Some will be four to five hours late coming in tonight. These are flights from Chicago, D.C., Philly, and Denver. So keep that mind if you've got somebody coming in. You probably already know they're running late. Uh, before we talk about our forecast, though, I want to keep on the snow theme for just a minute. Let me show you the pictures from Hawaii. That's right. This is the Mauna Kea Observatory up at 14,000 feet. And it was coated with fresh snow and blue sky today. Isn't that a gorgeous shot? Now, tomorrow, that snow should all be gone as temperatures warm back up. By the way, Mauna Kea, interesting. You can go from sea level to 14,000 feet in just a two hour drive. That is the only place you can do that uh, in the United States for sure, but one of the few places around the world. Okay, let's talk about our forecast. Back home, we're going to see 50s for central and eastern Oregon, as we will for the I 5 corridor. 53 in Cascade Locks, 52 in Hood River, and uh, partly sunny skies tomorrow. 38 for a high up in government camp. And some filtered sunshine, another nice day. 39 for a morning low in Portland, 53 for your high in the afternoon. So that's four degrees warmer than today. I think we'll make 53 in Beaverton and in Lake Oswego. Probably a degree warmer in Oregon City and Milwaukee at 54. And uh, Camas, you'll make 53 in the afternoon. Those of you in Battleground, 53. And Scappoose, 52 degrees. So all of us are kind of grouped together in the same temperature range because we all have. You know, essentially the same conditions, just that filtered sunshine, calm conditions. And it will be a cool start, but not as cold as today. And that helps us warm up a little tomorrow. Thursday, we have that rain at times. And then Friday and Saturday, highs around 60. And the way we're planning our rain around here is incredible because we get some rain this evening. We get some more rain as we get into tomorrow evening. And then we get some more rain on Saturday night. Bruce, that 60 on Friday has me worried that a lot of folks might not come back after lunchtime to work. <laughs> there's, a, there's an illness going around. Okay. It's mm -hmm. called Friday itis. Yes. And when it's 60, we all feel it. Yes, it yeah, really increases. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you, Bruce.